What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro back with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do a multiplicity photo effect. If you guys want to call it that, that's pretty much what this effect is going to be called from what I've researched, okay? And I wanted to show you guys this really cool effect where you take a whole bunch of photos and you combine them to make something that looks like this. Now, I posted this image in my Instagram page and a lot of you guys were really curious to how I actually did this effect. Now, this is nothing other than masking with the layer masks in Photoshop and just using a camera, whether it be an iPhone, a DSLR, an SLR, we're using a still image here on a tripod without the tripod moving at all, and you just move around, take a picture, and just do a different position or a different pose, if you were to call it that. And uh, so you just do a different pose, take a picture, and then move around again throughout the image, and just try to stay within that frame and try not to move the tripod at all. And once you go ahead and add a filter to this, you know, correct the highlights, correct all of the lighting and Lightroom, then you're gonna have something that looks like this and it looks really, really cool. So assuming you have all of your images here taken, as you can see, each image is different, I have a different pose in each image. You wanna go ahead and export it, you, you know, whether you're using Lightroom, whether you're using another application to actually edit your images, whatever you're using, go ahead and export it and save it in a folder and you should be good to go. All right guys, so once you have all of your images exported, whether it be from Lightroom or another application, and you have it saved into a folder, we're gonna have all of the images. Now I named these frame one through five, so we have frame one, frame two, as you can see here, it takes a little bit of time because I did save it as a TIFF. You also wanna make sure that you export it as a TIFF or something of higher resolution, don't export it as a JPEG. And I wanna go ahead and add our photo. So we're gonna go ahead and first uh, create new, we're gonna create a new document, and we're gonna name this uh, multiplicity uh, effect and we're gonna go ahead and change this to inches and I'm gonna do 10 by 8 uh, which is what I exported it as before now the resolution I'm gonna start it at 300 resolution or 300 ppi pixels per inch to get that really super high quality image and then the color mode RGB white click create okay um, now I am using Photoshop CC 2018 but if your Photoshop looks a little bit different here and there the tools should be exactly the same. So we have everything here. Go ahead and unlock the background layer just as a start. And we're gonna import our files. So go to file at the top and go to, uh, I believe it's scripts and go to load files into stack. Now some of the menus will be different if you're working in Windows or on a PC. You're gonna have a new window which says load layers. And here you wanna go ahead and choose, it says use files or folders. I'm gonna do files and I'm gonna click on browse. When you click on browse, your new window is going to uh, open up and you want to select the multiplicity photos and select all of these and click on open. And then you're going to have all of your files here listed in a order, depending on if you, if you exported it from Lightroom, you have the option to name the files in order in a uh, sequence. And I'm just going to click on OK and it's going to import all the uh, photos into one Photoshop document, as you can see here. But I want this to be in this one right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select all of these images here in this in the uh, layers panel. I'm going to right click on it and go to duplicate layers and I'm going to choose the destination for the document. I'm going to do a multiplicity effect. I'm going to click on OK and it's going to move all of these images onto this one right here. Now you can tell that the image size here, the only the photos are bigger than the document, which means the 300 PPI is going to work excellent and it's going to keep our resolution in a very high quality. So I'm gonna go ahead and just scale this back down and while all of these are selected, it's gonna go ahead and apply all of these changes to all of the photos and not just the top one that we have selected. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just move this down a little bit. I'm gonna try and make this a little bit smaller here around, uh, I believe it was like here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on, okay, command enter or control enter. And now we have the image here. Now. Uh, let me go actually redo this. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. There we go. So we can get that white edge there. So now we have this here. We can go ahead and close the other tab so we don't have Photoshop lagging or anything. Uh, so we have each of the images. As you can see, we have frame one. So I'm going to disable all of these so you guys don't get confused. And I'm going to delete this one as well. So we have this one right, right here, which is our first photo. We have our second photo, our third one, our four, uh, fourth frame here, our fourth photo, and the fifth one, which is the last one. Now, in order to really achieve this, it's very simple, okay? Go ahead and enable all of these. Click on this little tool here, and that's the option to add a layer mask, and it's gonna turn a white with a little link there. 
that means you've added a layer mask. There's nothing on there because it's white, everything is visible. So we're gonna do the same thing for each of the images here on our layers panel. And I'm gonna add a layer mask next to the effects here and the adjustments layer. So now we have all of these right here, okay? Try not to get confused, try to use, try to kind of keep everything um, easy for you, okay? Uh, I don't want to really confuse you guys because you, you guys can get really lost with this if you've never used the layer mask before. But assuming you have already, um, then this is great. Um, I wouldn't call this an easy tutorial. I would call this a little bit, a little advanced in a way, um, just because you have to know what you're doing. But we're going to have the first here. We have the frame one, and we're going to paint this black so we can hide the image here, the top one, and we're going to invert it so we can show the bottom image, okay? And bring the bottom, Im the bottom image, which is this one, into frame. So to do that, all you have to do is bring up your brush tool by going onto here, selecting the brush tool, or B for the shortcut. Then you want to go ahead and make sure that your colors are on default, black being your foreground color. That will allow you to hide or bring back an image, uh, bring back your whatever you're brushing over. Uh, this can differ between if you have the image inverted like this, uh, but we're not going to do that yet. So black will normally hide whatever you're covering it or brushing, as you can see. White will go ahead and hide the, uh, or sorry, black will hide and the white will reveal. So since this is on a white, uh, you know, on a white layer mask, we want to go ahead and hide myself and invert it so we can have both of myself in one image. So to do that, we have the first frame selected. Go ahead and just paint over it with black and just do this. Use a very soft brush. You don't want to use a hard brush because if you use a hard brush, you're going to get this really ugly looking lines and you can tell that you've cut out the person. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure you're using a soft brush and go ahead and paint that with black so we have this. Uh, so we can go ahead and hide that as you can see. Now, I don't know why. I think the latest version of Photoshop CC 2018 gives you these. Yours might look different. I honestly don't like the new brushes. I think it looks terrible and I, and I think it just throws you off when you're changing your brushes. Photoshop, please fix that. I don't like it. So anyway, so you have that, right? You can still kind of see that, but you can go back and paint it with white to bring myself back. Or if you want to hide it, just switch by pressing X and we want to paint that with black to hide myself, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and invert this. So instead of white, so black we have hidden, and that's myself on the first one. The white background here is what's visible. But we want to do the opposite so we can bring the bottom layer on top. So press Command I, and you can see that I've pretty much magically appeared like Houdini into the image. So now you can see that the background is black, which means everything else is hidden except myself. So now we can go ahead and move to the second image. So we're going to do the next one, which is myself here pointing to the sun. So since it's white, we're going to paint with black to get rid of myself. So just go like this, okay, with a soft brush, then press Command I. And boom, now I'm visible on the bottom layer. So I'm going to select this one or go back to this one because I'm overlapping. And since I'm overlapping, I'm going to go ahead and fix that. So to fix that, all you have to do is, again, go back to the first image, which is the one where I'm, uh, I believe, I'm standing on the rock, and I'm going to paint that with black. So I'm painting with black because I want to obviously be, you know, visible and not like a ghost. So I'm going to go ahead and just paint black, and it's okay if you go over the edge because you, you're using a layer mask, and you can easily go back to wherever you messed up. So since I'm losing a leg here and, like, I'm vanishing out of nowhere, I'm going to switch to a white brush and I'm going to magically just paint over it just like this and you can see how this is coming along and I'm doing this on a trackpad so if it's not perfect I'm sorry uh, I'm trying to rush through this because I don't want to take too long with this so there you go let's say that's perfect right so we're done with that we're gonna do the same thing with this one so we're gonna paint black on here since this is the new image and I want to make the brush size a little bigger. And I'm going to paint. I don't know why I should have done this before. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and paint with black here. And get rid of my whole self there. Then invert it, Command I, and I magically appear. The bottom image right here is the left one. So same thing, paint with black and get rid of this one here. On the one that doesn't have the inverted background. So I'll just go like this. Paint over it. Now the reason we're, we're uh, the reason this is working very well is because we didn't move the tripod at all. 
But if you did, you're going to have to manually adjust it by pressing Command T to get into the transform tool. And you're going to have to, ma you know, you're going to have to manually adjust the images here. And that can be a pain in the butt. So once you're done with that, press Command I, and then I pop up in the last image and I don't have to do anything there. And you're honestly done. This is the final effect. All you have to do is add your filter. So in this case, I have this one here that I've applied via Visco on my phone and you have this effect. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I hope I didn't confuse any of you guys. And if you guys found this tutorial helpful, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.